Hi guys, this is Rachel. I am back, of course, with a actually small Timu haul, smallish <laughs> haul. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and I hope you enjoy this video and you can guarantee there's silicone molds in here. And my, um, as you can tell, and I've said many times that my bags are getting smaller and smaller and fewer and far between um, because I'm about siliconed out and have to really be careful with the budget also. So anyway, here we go. I hope that you hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. I had it backwards, thumbs up button. And please leave me a comment. Just let me know. Um, how you like the products or if you're interested in it and maybe just like say hey let's why don't you make that project and maybe what type of um resin whether powder or epoxy or um uv just kind of like give me some suggestions as to what to make next make next all right i'm gonna put the camera down because i'm kind of feeling a little bit Mm, sorry, on the wild look inside here. So I will put the camera down so you can just see the bag because that's why you're here. Is to see the team wall. Okay, here we go. And yes, I am setting at my workstation today while well, my hobby class station today. So I will, let me see. Maybe I can put this up a little bit more. Sorry for all the jiggly jaggling and everything like that. Oh, yeah, I can't. I'm not going to worry about being in it. Y'all can just watch what I got. There we go. Let's get this one cut open here. Oh my goodness. I am, yes, I am probably overcompensating for my energy because air pressure is a little wonky today. A little lot wonky today. So I'm trying to like, okay, just worry about this, whatever, how long it takes me to get this video done. I can kind of like, what do you call it? Fake it till you make it? There you go. Fake the energy until you make it. And these are still out from like the last Timu haul that I did, which was just a few days ago. But um, I don't even know if I got that video uploaded or not. Probably not because I think that's the one that was looking pretty haggard in that bed. But neither here nor there, I am here. I just need to get the bags open and put away and that's becoming the problem trying to get things put away okay well let's just dive into this let's see here goodness, goodness gracious there's a loud automobile oh no that's a school bus out there and guess what i'm losing my voice already time to hydrate here <laughs> that's crazy how fast my voice goes mm. sorry i did have allergy shots today and uh, this is that high pollen season, and it is kicking in on me. All right, so the first thing I am opening, yes, is a silicone mold, and I need to find my glasses. Y'all stay right there. Don't go anywhere. I'm just grabbing my glasses. Oh, my gosh. You know, I woke up with this raging, raging headache today. And I'm not sure what this thing, oh no, oh no. Um, I woke up with this crazy headache. Um, and I think it's just because I had a ton, I don't know what my tablet is doing here. I don't know, don't know, don't know. Let's see if I can flip it back this way. I was actually gonna try to do pricing, but if this thing does not cooperate, I may not be doing pricing. All right, let me see which order this is in. Energy levels are going down a little bit. I did have two cups of coffee, but you know. Um, let's see. What I really feel like doing is crawling back up in bed, going to sleep. Um, so a lot of things in this order was um, free for, I don't know, whatever. It was part of the spin the deal, will deal thing. And some other kind of contest or something. But anyway, I got a couple things free. And I had some credits on my account. So, I, well, I don't think I paid maybe $15 for this order. And these were fairly expensive molds. 
Um, so whenever it says deals and I have credit on my account, I try to get the larger molds that are somewhat unaffordable. And when I say the larger ones, most of them are like, I'm looking at it, it's like eight, nine, almost $10. And some of them are even higher, but I, that's, that is not in my budget. So again, I try to get them when there's some kind of like, I promo going on and anyway. All right, enough of that, enough of that. I think I say this every time. I guess I feel like I have to justify, like, oh, she's doing the no team rule. Is that all she does is shop? Absolutely not. You have to remember, this stuff can take two to three weeks to get here. And um, so this is something I ordered a while back, and I don't think I've ordered anything in probably a couple weeks now. And um, because it's like, I have no place to put my mold. So <laughs> I have limited space here. All right, first thing I'm opening is called a cylindrical nightlight. And so basically you put it like on one of those wooden bases. I don't think I have that one still in here, but I got some in the last haul. Um, and they have like the little LED light and, but you would pour your resin and then the light will shine through so it can be like a little nightlight. On it so that's kind of I thought that was kind of cute and it's a very I think it's a very like stiff sturdy type of mold and they have to be to be able to hold resin when they're tall like that but let me tell you this one's gonna be a beast to unmold and <laughs> this is actually what it looks like uh, can you see that yep and and it says it's $3.59 now. And at the time when I ordered it, it was $3.99. But, um, and there's all kinds of credits and stuff on it. So, yeah, I don't know how much I really pay for it. But, but that's cute. And let me find my bag because the last time I just threw bags all haphazardly. So, I cannot wait for you to see all of these really nice molds I got today. I have a little bin down here. I'm just going to toss them in so I can put them away. Because um, I want to do a lot with the um, mixed to mold resin and the powdered resin. So, I wanted some molds that I will use probably predominantly for that product instead of the epoxy because I really think the powder ones dull the mold. I may be wrong, but um, I don't know if anyone else knows if they've noticed that um, or not. And, you know, I gotta find it. It's like, it gets to be a mission. It's like, you gotta find that opening. Ugh, I wear myself down. <laughs> I really do. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Wait till you see what this, what I ordered and what I got. This is supposed to be, is it supposed to be a vase? No. I have no idea what it's even supposed to be. Um, is this it? Okay. Um, no, it's just like a little mermaid um, type of mythical creature blowing a bubble or holding a bubble and it is not very shiny inside not very shiny at all has a lot of detail it looks like but there's a little tiny bubble right there and let me show you which one these these were my options it was like three four different options I think this is the one I got four different options and it reminded me of like Little Mermaid, um, but I thought, I really thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this. Uh, and I, I'll tell people when they ask me about getting things off of Timu, it's like, you know, a lot of things are really good quality. And I guess, yes, there are the measurements. It says it's two, 2.36 inches tall and... I guess 2.356 inches. Maybe that's tall. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking you can see it. I may need to like bring my thing over a little bit closer, but um, it's cute. And I did want to do this with the powdered 
resin. I just want to make sure that y'all can see what I'm doing. I'll cut down some more. Um, my tablet's turned in landscape. It's hard to sit. It's $3.99 when I, it's, this is now $3.99. So again, some point in the given the price and I'll pay for it because I don't know what to wear. All right. I don't know what this is. Okay. This is kind of like a Christmas type of mold and this is much bigger than I expected. So bigger. Um, I may have to really contact Tina about that one more I made one because on the art shows that it's super shiny and you know I try to look at the molds to see if they're shiny or not because I do like the shinier molds. It's like why bother not making them shiny. All right, so this is kind of like a puzzle deer. You can see like the deer, the, I guess it's head, the antler, the antlers and the body. And so it's a DIY Christmas series reindeer. So you have to do it yourself. Of course I do if I gotta do that, but this is what it's supposed to look like. It's kind of cute. I saw that and, and so I thought, oh, well, that's cute. And you know what? I believe most of the stuff that I ordered, I had to order only what they had on the page. So scrolling through um, in order to get the discounts I got, it, everything had to be on that page. And I guess there's like, what, two options? Oh yeah, there's a sleigh and there's a reindeer. The reindeer is $3.59 and the sleigh is also $3.59. So those are the two molds. And there they are right there. All right, cute, cute, cute. Now I didn't get both of them. Um, yeah, one little DIY. I actually like these things when you um, have, they're like puzzle pieces. You do have to be careful to make sure that you don't over pour on them. Because if you do, then they won't fit um, together properly and you have to do a lot of following um, to get it to go down. And I did that on something. I think I had that little, it was called a gingerbread house, but it was really like a Hansel and Gretel thing. And just weird, because they had like the witch and like, yeah, anyway. All right, this, so I've been trying to get a lot of the pink molds like this for the powdered resin. And I don't know, I don't know if this is a dog or a cat. That's not say. Um, but let's see. So I got several large molds in here. Let me get this open. And yes, I do reuse my bags. Sorry to put the mold back in. Sorry for the crinkling. You know when I first started watching YouTube hauls, I really like the um I was trying to see if it had the size on it, how much it held. This is a very dull mold. So it will be fine for the powder, but for epoxy, yeah, not so well. Because at the bottom, everything would be so shiny and pretty. And if you do like glitter or anything in it, it would be just dull looking. So you will really be wasting your glitter. It's like something, is that the eye? Yeah, that's the eye. I was like, oh no, it's a hole. So you can see it has some detail, but let me actually see what this is. Hmm, is it the polar bear? This actually looks like a pig. I'm sorry, it does. This is the dog one. Oh, look, it looks like a pig. Doesn't it? But it's a little flower pot. You see the outside's actually shiny. Look at that. And the inside's very dull. Mm. All right, so this is one of the more expensive ones. It's six seventy nine now, and this is what it looks like. So it's a corgi. Cute, cute, cute. I don't know. I've been into these little flower pot molds for the um, the powdered resin. I know. I think they're just cute. And I'll tell you what I like to put in them is air plants. Um, I got. I had to replace one of my air plants. Um, last week, so she, the place I get them from, she had gotten several of them in, and so, um, I got some of the smaller ones, so they weren't too terribly expensive, they are just like a few bucks, and, um, 
and I just like them. They're so stinking cute. All right, this is Turtle Charms. Yeah, can you see those inside of that? Yeah, without me taking that out. And I'm not sure how many's in here. Probably, I can't see that. Hmm, I'm thinking probably 20 pieces. It's either 20 or 40 pieces. That's usually the tip. You know what? I cannot get the thing to go back. Why? There we go. <laughs> All right. So this would be on another order. It's only two orders in here. So that's good. And let me see if I can find it. I guess I can't. I cannot. Go back to deliver it. Ugh, what is going on with you? Ay, ay, ay. All right, it's just being difficult. All right, as you can see, like zero dollars. That's how much I paid for these things. Um, and, oh, you know what? I hope my address wasn't there because now I'm going to have to blob that out. No, it wasn't. I'm like glad. I'm like, really? Come on. Ugh. Now I went back too far. Go back. You know when you start touching one thing and then it goes all over and I have one of those like screensavers on here that still work with the pen. Don't use the pen, but the tech, it's hard to get this thing to do what I want it to do. All right. Let's see. View receipt, which I need, need to view. Receipt because it was all zero dollars. Um, so this is 20 pieces of the silvery turtle alloy pendants. And I actually, I'm not sure if I will put them on with a necklace or just kind of like snip that little thing off and put it inside of like a resin mold. That's probably what I will do. And these are, ooh, these are now only $2.48, which is really good for these for packs like this. All right, moving right along, moving right along. Oh, it says I paid two forty nine for it, but um, it it was two forty nine at the time I got it. But again, it was zero dollars. All right, what have we got going back? You know what? Let me fill in here and get everything from this one little order because it is only only. Oh gosh, my arm hurts. I got shots today, allergy shots, and man, there. My arm is hurting me. Well, maybe, uh, maybe it's nice. I don't know. I'm going around for the other two things that's supposed to be in this order. Ah, uh, forget. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you remember, I did a haul, and I'm hoping I've uploaded it. I forget why I've uploaded it. I'll just film a bunch of videos and then, because it takes a lot takes a lot to get them uploaded and um oh um <laughs> i'm like huh um th i got my daughter some graduation hats and then it also has some little tiny hats that was supposed to be for a pet a pet a small pet and i thought they would fit on bailey no nope, they, they 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 do but they just look like I don't know. They're teeny tiny like that big. And I'm like, that's not what that picture showed. So another one popped up in my feed and it said it's for small animals and it did have dog on it and not a guinea pig. So this is a one piece pet graduation. It says one piece, guys. One, two. It says one piece. <laughs> With small tassel. I'm like, oh, so I even got to put the hat together. Come on. And I thought, oh, that's cute. So this is probably going to be too large for um, Bailey. But, you know, it's bigger than those other ones. And she absolutely hated it. I hear her little thing chingling. It's, and that is 338. And it has Velcro on it. So, oh, oh. stay. And I was going to say, and look at the Velcro. It's like a hexagon, and this is a square. So, that'll just match up lovely. And then that'll probably catch in a hair or something. You know what? Positive. Come on, Richard. Be positive. It's cute. 
It is actually cute. This will probably cover our hole yet, but this is just, yeah, for, for a pet, it's fine. It's fine. It could actually fit like a very small child too. So, like a little baby. But anyway, um, but cute cute it's it's actually nicely made um oh wow look at the fold crease on it i mean since it's for her i'm not too particular about it but yeah that folded crease is just a hot mess right there it's all prickled up and messed up hmm. but anyway i was saying about the and they should have stuffed this with some paper you know and then shipped it so it wouldn't crease like that and anyway what do i know what do i know i am not an expert in shipping things so but you know what you would think company that ships out i don't know how many god only knows how many packages a day they would you know probably get it right oh and you know i was checking my um emails the other day and I got this thing from Tina saying they would be sharing sharing your address information with the sellers that they feel that will can ship directly from them. I I mean I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that but by then I already I haven't placed any order since then. Um I think I have like maybe two more small ones coming in. Maybe this might be my last one. I don't know. So um, more of my content, I want to get back into more so doing my resin work. Um, pour painting. I've yet to do a pour painting one online. I think I actually have a really old video, one of my first ones. And yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it's, most of my videos, I cringe when I look at myself. That's why I don't have my face and this, so you're listening at my voice and looking at the pictures. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I get the squirrel brain every now and then. What was it? Where was I going? Um, I just thought that was kind of like, eh. but um, on one of my other videos, I did say that um, I know one of the YouTubers that I watched she said that someone for her shipping um, confirmation, well, that it had been shipped said that Amazon would be delivering it. So they have the same sellers, a lot of the same sellers. So I guess those sellers use Amazon to ship. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know the um, logistics of it, but these are so pretty and I've hauled these before. I just love these silvery ones. And so I got 50 grams of them. And again, I can't stand it when they do it by grams. But I know the 50 gram bag is a pretty good size bag. You get a decent amount to make a project with it. And I have some of the, all the mixed colors, the bronzes and the greens and stuff like that. But I wanted one that has all silver. So I may make one of those clocks with that. That would be super cute. All right, and let me show you a pitch of these. And these are for jewelry making as well. And see, I got that one. That's right there. But because I know I had some of the other ones. But yeah, they're super, super nice. And they're very well made. They're like, um, I guess it says they're alloy. But they're nice and heavyweight. And I don't know. I've just really been, I like these. I don't know why. I really, I really do. They're pretty. All right. <clears throat> make a lot of necklaces and things with that. Um, the steam, it's just as metal mechanical steam punk cocks. Sometimes I just forget. It's like, what is it called now? What is this? And it's steampunk and I don't know why I forget that. All right, so this is the last order right here. <clears throat> Man, I have to hydrate again. Sorry, guys. Mm. Oh. I haven't uploaded the video. Uh, hopefully, by the time I get this one uploaded, I had like my regular Amazon subscribe and save. So I got some of those electrolyte powders and I put one in here. I just had a little bit of my other, um, I forget what those powder mixes are called there. They're made with stevia and they're sugar free and everything. Um, well, yeah. And uh, they're supposed to be 
natural and stuff like that. But I had a little bit of that left in it, and so I just fixed it in here. And um, they don't really taste salty. I was expecting it to taste more saltier. I think I was expecting it to be like that. Oh, the element, is it called element brand? Yeah, but those were super pricey. Um, so I tried to find one that was very similar to it and it was about half the price and you know, oh, I can't remember the name of this one. Um, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm so thirsty. Hmm. I drink, I drink. All right, moving right along. All right. This, I'm not even sure why I picked, I, you know what, I do know why I picked this, because this is what was in the list. These are metal, these are mica powders, it's called Super Bright Royal Golden, and they're all different shades of gold mica, and it's, um, they're, each bottle's 25 mLs, and they're super pretty. I don't think I have very many of the just gold ones, and these, of course, are free. So I'm like, okay. So I popped up in it, and mica powders can, I don't know, they can be a, a few bucks, I guess. Let me see how much they are. They're four forty nine, and um, I really wouldn't want to have paid four forty nine for it. So this is the picture of them. Now, of course, they're not that vibrant. <laughs> Not quite that vibrant, but um, gotta love that lighting. Let me see. I guess if you have it just the right way in the right lighting and tilt it the same way, maybe with an orange filter on it, it would be a perfect match. Uh, what shall I title this? Um, <laughs> this video. It's like okay. This is this is what I got. This is what I ordered, and this is what I got. I've seen several of them titled that, and not, you get that quite a bit. I mean, not every time, you know, but I've been kind of like on a roll with it. Ooh, ooh this is huge. <laughs> this is, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is huge. I was really not expecting this to be that big because... You get the little, what is that little teeny tiny mold that I thought was going to be like this, the little mermaid. I don't know. I threw, oh, I threw her in the bin. Yeah, that was um, super tiny and I'm look, look, quite disappointed in that because it's not shiny. And, you know, I know you can make epoxy resi shiny um, from watching videos that you can just put some, um, UV resin on it, but I don't want to waste all of that resin. That's like, it's about, you know, it's one thing to use epoxy resin and then, okay, you want your project to be done because you've either put mica, a glitter, and all the time and everything you've put in it, and then you're going to cover it with UV to try to make it shiny when the mold should have been shiny. That's just my little rant on the shiny molds. And see, this one is a shiny one, and kind of like dent it up. I don't know why they don't really, even though it's silicone, sometimes it does bounce back. But I'm just going to let you know when you get your silicone molds, make sure it doesn't have like any smudges, scratches, or anything in it because that will show up in your project. And, um, but this is like a, it's like a bicycle, um, you know, I don't know what they call the ones with the really big wheel in front and what do they call them? Unicycle? No, it's not a unicycle. I don't know. It's just called One Piece Bicycle Clock Silicone Mold. DIY. Of course it's DIY. I don't know. And so it has the gears. I would love to do this in like a, I don't know, mm, maybe like silver outlay with some of these in it. Not these, but the little, what do you call it? Um, steampunk. Um, these in it. That, that, that would be pretty. I would love to say, I'm going to make this next. But you know me. They'll go in the bin. I have more fun ordering, unpacking, than putting together. And you know what? I did think that I was supposed to have gotten that with it. Because 
every picture it shows it with it and it's also giving you the measurements of it now it might be in a different bat in a different container uh there's the 80 so it's showing you mm, that's that's what it was i didn't notice it so i got a And it says one piece bicycle clock silicone mold DIY round gear clock silicone mold wall hanging. Woo! Decorative mirror resin mold. Handmade tool. My goodness, how much stuff do they need? Let me see if I can find a picture of A. Well, A I was supposed to have come with that one. So I'm hoping I have the round one in there. And that was the only available one so we'll see if i get a and it doesn't you know i don't know why it doesn't really matter if it's round or that just because you're not really gonna see it but you know so that didn't bother me i just thought it would be great to have that with it and i wouldn't have to you know buy one separately i have a couple of them on hand um when i got it it was 6.99 but I definitely did not pay that for it. Um, it is now $6.98. So. Oh my goodness. I am like wiped out. So I know I was like talking earlier about, um, I had, um, I, I don't know. I had a lot weighing on my mind, trying to get some things done. Um, and so I guess I was stressing out a bit on it. And I have a big sign over my bed um, that says, go to sleep and give it to God. Um, and so I have to remind myself of that. I did sleep pretty good overall, but um, yesterday evening my chest was starting to hurt me and I have had heart issues and stuff. So I have to really keep telling myself to calm down. I, you know, um, it's not worth making yourself be in the hospital or anything like that. But I did wake up this morning with like a rage and headache and it could have been an air pressure. And I, I, I actually went to bed thinking like, I am just gonna take this as a wipeout depressed day. I'm staying in bed, not going to my appointment, pulling the covers over my head. And um, I was reminded when I was looking at, um, I do like a online Bible study, YouTube video thing. Um, um, trying to think what the name of it is. I can't think of the name of it. Um, but it's really good. So she's been doing one video a day. She goes to the scriptures and and does one a day. It's heart dive. Um, and it's I was listening to that um, when I first woke up and everything, and it was just really encouraging me and stuff. So it's like you know what. I can't lay in bed in a way unless I'm feeling like everything's hurting so bad. So I'm like, nope, get up, get yourself ready and go to your appointment. And so, but anyway, I am here. It's been, that was early this morning. It's now the afternoon that I'm recording this. Anyway, um, um, I am feeling, yikes, but you know, like that was a little crazy and off the chain. Oh my gosh. My brain's like all over the place. I probably do need to go back to bed. All right, this, um, back on track. Back on why you're here at the Cedar G. New Hall and not to be listening to me yet. Um, this is, I've been looking at this several times. Ooh, hope that's on the outside. Uh, it's just a piece of funky silicone that was in it. Uh, this is considered like, I think it's called a rock resin rock shape pendant silicone um and this was one of the actual freebies that i got and i have been i had this in my car and i would check it and check it and and i'm like uh eh. but then i saw it being it was on another youtuber's site that I watch are these shiny no these are not the shiniest um i don't know yeah like this is really shiny but the insides are not very shiny um it drives me nuts about that 
and I'm trying to see what is this right here it's like it's got little knobs on it so I guess that's to make it level with everything so that's really cool that they do that so um, it keeps the level the everything level on it so that's pretty cool and um, so I wanted to um, do something with this because um, when I saw her haul that, I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. And it's like, oh, you've been on the fence about this mold, so just get it. And when it popped up in the free thing, I'm like, all right, do it. All right, and it is actually 387. And you can see, I've gotten several molds like this. They're supposed to be super shiny and gorgeous like that. I don't know, guys. This does not look very promising in the inside. And I would probably let them know that. See, it's so one thing if they show that as being dull, then that's one thing. But when they show it as being super shiny and everything, yeah, I I don't see a lot of shine on it, on all of it. So I'm hoping it is. Um, it is now 387. All right. Get you back in here. And the YouTuber that I watched that did it, she did it with the um, mix the pour. And I'm like, I don't know, I'm so scared to um, put like a powder one and one that I would love to be able to use with just a regular epoxy. Um, just because I didn't notice that one of them, ah, uh, won't go back in. Uh, rip, I'm like the whole, all right, calm down, Rachel. All right, um, this one is winding down. Oh, 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 I think. I believe this is it. All right, this one's a cute little flower pot one. And you could probably put a succulent in it or like, um, I said I like putting the um, air flower, eh, air plants in it. Oh, I can't really see her face. Oh yeah, you can see her little face. Isn't it cute? It's like a girl holding a, um, and look how tiny the thing is, but, and it'll be a little bit bigger. It will actually be like that. Um, and it will pour like this and nope. Um, this is not a shiny mold inside. It does have some detail in it. So let me show you that. Oh, I think I'm missing the mold. I am. Oh no, maybe this is it. Maybe I didn't open that one. I don't know. Okay. I'm, I guess it's this one. <clears throat> All right, and this is what it looks like. Cute, cute, cute. But I plan on doing it something like that because, yeah, like that. Because all that paint, nah, I, I don't think so. I, it's, I cannot paint, and I can't color in line. It's just like, eh, no. It taxis my patience to no end, so. Um, I did try, like years ago when those um, coloring books first came out to do it. And this mold is, how much? Oh, it's $7.59 now. At the time I got it, it was $9.49. Um, and even if I had used credits and stuff with it, it will still give me the um, price adjustment refund. So... And as you can see, a lot of these molds were like almost $10 each, but this whole order, I think I paid like $13 for it. So, so lots of really nice molds, and I think it's 12 items in this order. Let's see, I do not pay a lot on, on Timu. I really try to search for the bargains or whenever they have freebie things. I try to do that. Now, I've not did the fish land or farmland in a while because it's just so time consuming and it drives me nuts. I'm just sitting on my tablet trying to do, feed these silly things and to get a free something. And I'm like, oh, forget it, forget it. I don't even want it anymore. Um, <sighs> this is a polar bear flower pot succulent. And let's see if you can see it. And nope, it is not shiny. And it has a gazillion scratches in there. <laughs> I think it's got more scratches in it than enough. It's almost like someone just took a fork and just, 
all over it. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. That probably won't even, yeah, that will show up. That will show up in the bottom of that. Maybe that's kind of like the fur. No, because the sides, no. No, I think that's like a defect in it. So, um, yeah. And um, let me show you a picture of it, of him. He's actually laying on his back. Just kind of like chilling. Look at him, he's so cute. That's the panda bear. That one was not available because I probably would have gotten that one. Maybe, I don't know. But it's cute, they're cute. And I just wanted to get some molds that I could use with the um, powder. And it, this is six seventy nine dollars now. And at the time when I got you know what I think they do is when they have those promos and things, they raise the price up a little bit. So you're, they're still getting some money out of you, whether it's, you know, a few bucks or not. You know, they're, they're like, yeah. We'll let her have it for like 90% off, but we're going to raise it, price it for um, but no, I did get, I actually did get price adjustments for it, so I'm not gonna, like, um, that not get it. No, just joking, I did, because, like I said, all of those large molds and everything, um, it probably, let me see what it should have cost me. It should have cost about $48, and I paid 13 I got all those freebies. Okay. All right. Well, that is it, guys. Um, nothing it's, to some people, it may be, you know, to another person that does resin or epoxy or just like storage team walls, it might be like, okay, those were cool items. I like seeing the different molds, and sometimes I should not watch them when they have molds in their halls because. You, typically, any arts and craft or, or crafter, they will have whatever they arts and craft they do in their halls, and and it's like every now and then I'll have something like a headband or you know something like that. But um, yeah, predominantly mines will always be like the molds or something or mica powders or alcohol inks or pigment inks or something like that or some kind of tool to use with it. And so, um, I like seeing them to see like, oh, that's what it looks like. And I, I don't know it I, again, I should not watch because it's like, oh, I like that. I, I have that in my car. I should probably go ahead and get it. And so I got this and some other ones because I saw them like, oh, it's so cool. But, um, yeah, I did these when they were like super cheap and on sale too. And the prices fluctuate a lot on it. So, again, if you do order anything from Timu or probably any of the other sites that they have, Sheen or some of the other ones, just really watch the measurements and try to look at what they have them beside. Um, it can still like trick your brain because like that little mermaid one's like this tall and I'm thinking it's going to be like this tall. And um, it was about half that size. What do I do with it? It's so small, it's gotten lost in my little bin there. Um, but anyway, um, that is the, that's my haul for the day. I like to thank each and every one of you for watching. And thank you for spending this time with me. Because I know all of our, everyone's time is very, very valuable. So I do appreciate each and every one of you. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. And the thumbs up for the like. And please leave a comment. Just say hi. If no more, just say hi. A smiley face emoji or something. Just be nice. And because um, I really appreciate that. We all go through stuff and we just, yeah, sometimes we just need a smile. And it's very appreciative or praying hand. Anyway, okay. Thank you so much again. And I appreciate you all. And just, just remember that JLU. Bye.